Welcome to the Navy Newscast for Friday, November 29th, 2024. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Mark Brantley, will make the Navy's Island Administration's 2025 budget presentation on Tuesday, December 3rd, 2024, during a sitting of the Navy Island Assembly. The theme of his presentation will be Moving Forward, People Focused, Supporting Entrepreneurship, and Bolstering Job Creation. The 2025 budget will focus on the well-being of the people and residents in Nevis through the support of small business, the expansion of critical infrastructure, and the provision of social programs. The intended outcome of our budget will be to create jobs, enhance livelihoods, and improve the overall quality of life in Nevis. To achieve the above objectives, there will be additional tax incentives providing support for small businesses at customs or at Indian Revenue. There will be capital investment to support the availability of portable water, airport infrastructure, and of course, our health services, principally our hospital. The Child Care Assistance Program, which started as an experiment on the Department of Gender Affairs, has witnessed noteworthy acceptance this program will continue to benefit from allocated resources so that parents who are financially challenged can find relief. The Nevis Island Assembly sitting will be broadcast live from 10 a.m. on Nevis Television and TV, Channel 99, Nevis Television Facebook page, and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. 50 students became official graduates of the Navy Sixth Form College on Tuesday, November 26th. 46 members of the class of 2024 earned the CAPE Diploma and the Premise Award for passing six or more Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination CAPE units. And the overall pass rate for the Navy Sixth Form College for this year is 91.12%. To those who will rank on the national merit list and those who will be receiving awards, not only for your stellar CAPE performance, but in other important areas of human development, I say congratulations. As you leave the walls of the Nevis Sixth Form College, I encourage you to uphold integrity in every aspect of your life. Continue to work hard, to be honest, to be respectful, to be accountable, and to take responsibility for your actions, especially if you make a mistake and to autograph your work with excellence wherever you are. Continue to be remarkable. Never underestimate your potential to do remarkable things. You are capable. Congratulations to my remarkable class of 2024. The theme of the ceremony was embracing integrity, building a positive future. Class valedictorian Ayush Patel put it into perspective. To my fellow graduates, as we leave Sixth Form College to pursue our different goals, I always want us to remember this. We all have the power to make a significant positive change. As we step into the next chapter of our lives, let's remember that true success isn't measured by titles, awards, or wealth. It's about the values we uphold and the positive change we bring to this world. Embracing integrity means standing by what's right even when nobody's watching. It means staying grounded in our beliefs, treating others with kindness, and leaving every place better than we found it. With this spirit, let's commit to building a future that we can be proud of. Once one defined by honesty, empathy, and excellence. Let's make, let, let's make a mark by lifting others up and staying true to ourselves. Congratulations, class of 2024. Go out there and show the world exactly what you're made of. Thank you. Ayush Patel passed 10 CAPE units with 9 grade 1s, earning the Premier's Excellence Award for the best CAPE results. Passing 10 CAPE units with 9 grade 1s, Hirishikesh Srinivasan received the Minister of Education Salutatorian Award. Other outstanding students include Davis Stanley, who passed the 6 CAPE units with 6 grade 1s. She also ranked 2nd in the region for History Unit 2 and 4th in the region for Law Unit 2. Kalana Pari, who passed five CAPE units with five grade ones, and Aisha Naya Webb, who ranked seventh in the region for Law Unit 2. 
They were among those who received the Nevis Sixth Form College Excellence Awards and other special awards presented by former teacher Angela Manzak. The ceremony also highlighted the winning performance of the class of 2024 in this year's Leeward Islands debating competition, their participation in national and regional sporting events, community service initiatives, and entrepreneurial endeavors. Still to come? The benefits of this offer are significant to public and private sector, as well as the Clarence Fitzroy Bryan College and the Nevis Sixth Form College graduates. We'll give you the details after this break. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve, and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. Welcome back. In a collaborative effort to expand educational opportunities for Nevisions, Edinburgh Napier University and the Nevis Island Administration have agreed to merge scholarship funds offered by both institutions. To inform senior public servants and private sector representatives of the agreement, a forum was held on November 21st. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Human Resources, Kevin Barrett, urged those in attendance to share the information with their staff members and others who may be interested in studying abroad. At the bachelor's level, students will be awarded an overall scholarship of um, per year, let me, let me put that in, per year of US $1,680. And at the graduate level, US $2,310. And as I said, that is per year. The MOU sets out that NIA will provide half of those amounts. We are, as I said, very much on board with our new partner. We are encouraging, as I said, individuals who are interested in expanding their horizons to indeed study abroad. No doubt there is an online component. But as I said, because of the experiences that I myself would have had studying abroad, I would want individuals to have similar experiences to make, as I said, that global citizen and to ensure that you could indeed compete on a global level with the workforce that is out there at this time. Shanola Morigil training manager in the Ministry of Human Resources noted the benefits of the offer are significant to both the public and private sector as well as the Clarence Fitzroy Brand College, CFBC and the Nevis Sixth Form College graduates. Edinburgh Napier University offers undergraduate top-up programs for CFBC and Nevis Sixth Form graduates who have achieved associate degrees. Individuals can also apply to complete studies in areas such as bachelors in business management, business enterprise, computing, nursing studies, and more. Undergraduate students can also apply to complete master programs in business management, human resources, data science, and more. Andrew Crowley, representative for Edinburgh and Napier University in the Caribbean and the United States, also made a presentation. A truly international student experience. You'll be studying with your fellow students in uh, Nevis or across the Caribbean or globally. Okay, a lot of our students form their own WhatsApp groups as well. They find that very helpful. We have three, um, three intakes a year, January, May, September. In fact, for all of our programs, we have a couple of options. You can either pay in full or you pay as you go. If you pay in full for the entire program, the fee is not per year, this is for the entire program. The fee for the MBA is 9,356 US dollars. Okay, for the entire program. And if you pay as you go, the fee would be 10,395. Now, 
ignore that about the $200 bursary, that doesn't apply here because your bursary here is, is much more, obviously. So as pointed out before, you would get the first module uh, fee uh, paid by uh, Shinola's team and also the final module, the equivalent for the final payment, also paid by ENU, by the university. Okay, so that's a significant reduction on those fees. Edinburgh Napier University is AACSB accredited, which places it in the top 5% of business schools worldwide. For more information, contact the Ministry of Human Resources at 469-5521, extension 5163-5164, or 5166. Meantime, Premier and Minister of Human Resources, the Honorable Mark Brantley, continues to encourage students to apply for scholarships that are advertised by the Ministry. We continue to advertise scholarships available all across the globe. But the refrain that we often get is that not enough divisions are applying. So I'm encouraging our division students to pay attention and to apply, and to parents to encourage your children to apply. If you don't have the money to send your child to university, which we know can be very expensive, encourage them to apply for these scholarships because if you can get a free education, get a scholarship and go away. It means that when you come back and you start to work, your money going directly then to invest it in yourself, meaning buying a bit of land, building a house, or whatever the case may be. As noted by Premier Brantley, the Navis Island Administration's Ministry of Human Resources announces scholarship opportunities and offers assistance with scholarship applications. Human Resources in Navis is constantly putting out information about scholarships that are available to Mexico, to Azerbaijan, to Morocco, to Taiwan, to Argentina, to Canada. Scholarships after scholarships. Please, I'm asking. We've signed arrangements with Monroe College. We have arrangements with, is it called Southern University, I think it's called, that the federal government has entered into in Louisiana. All of these options are available. UVI, University of the West Indies. This government continues to provide assistance to students who are studying. And it used to be that we never supported those who are studying online. You know what? We've changed that policy that students studying online in Nevis can now get government support as well. Because we realize that for those who choose to study online, they're still working and so you're still getting productivity out of them. For information on available scholarships, visit the Ministry of Human Resources at the Social Security Building at Pinney's or call 469-5521 extension 5163-5164 or 5166. That's it for this edition of the Navis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here in the Department of Information, thank you for viewing. I'm Donna Wilkinson-Keynes.